Chapter 1. A Superstar Aunt Jane looked out at the pasture. The sheep grazed all day. Silo should bring them in now. Silo was a herding dog. At seven o'clock each night, he rounded up the sheep and led them back to the barn. Daniela, a pony girl, glanced at her watch. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Before she finished, the sheep burst through the door. Aunt Jane counted each one as they ran past her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She stopped. One is missing. Just then, Sweet Pea the sheep ran into the barn with Silo barking behind her. Ten, said Aunt Jane. Good job, Silo. I can always count on you. You're a superstar, said Daniela. The best herding dog I've ever had at Stormcliff Stables, said Aunt Jane. She brushed his coat. Silo could be in charge of this place, the boss of the barn. Daniela giggled as she and Aunt Jane left. Silo wagged his tail and ran over to his friends. Did you hear the news? he asked. I'm a superstar. Aunt Jane said I could be in charge of this place, the boss of the barn. The friends frowned. Bah, said Sweet Pea. You're our friend, not our boss. Patches the cat arched her back. Our best friend. Nay, said Pip and Squeak, the miniature horses. Pip swished her tail. Just because you could be in charge doesn't mean you should be in charge. Silo ignored them. He was sure he could be in charge. He was sure he should be in charge. Then Silo made a decision. He would be in charge. Chapter 2 Bossy, bossy, bossy. Silo saw Patches sleeping. Wake up, Patches, said Silo. Patches opened one eye. Then she opened the other eye. It's mouse chasing time, said Silo. Get up, up, up. Patches yawned. Bossy, bossy, bossy. Too bossy. Let me sleep. Silo nudged Patches with his nose. You need to chase mice now and sleep later. Patches purred. Be a best friend, not a bossy friend. But I'm a superstar, said Silo. The boss of the barn. Patches yawned again. Then she ignored Silo and went back to sleep. Silo sighed. He did not feel like the boss of the barn. Soon, Silo spied Freckles the pig eating out of Sweet Pea's bucket. Stop eating Sweet Pea's food, said Silo. Your slop is outside. Freckles snorted. Bossy, 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 said Sweet Pea. Too bossy. Friends share. Sweet Pea and Freckles kept eating. Be a best friend, said Sweet Pea. Not a bossy friend. Silo sighed. He did not feel like the boss of the barn. I'm not bossy, 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 said Silo. But if no one listens to me, I'll soon be grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. Chapter 3 Grumpy, Grumpy, Grumpy Silo checked on Pip and Squeak in their stall. Squeak wasn't there. Where's Squeak? asked Silo. He belongs in this stall. Pip stretched her neck. Squeak is outside playing kick the can with Gaston the goat. No, no, no. Squeak belongs inside said Silo. He must come inside now. Bossy, 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 said Pip. Too bossy. Let him play. Be a best friend, not a bossy friend. Silo ignored Pip. He ran outside and barked. You can't be outside, Squeak. Go inside with Pip. That's where you belong. I belong here, said Squeak. I'm playing. Silo barked some more. The barking scared Gaston. He ran away from Silo and Squeak. Bossy, 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 said Squeak. Too bossy. Friends don't scare friends away. 
Now Pip was grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. Be a best friend, not a bossy friend. But I'm a superstar, said Silo. I'm the boss. Wouldn't you rather be our friend, said Pip. But Silo was too busy being bossy to answer. He continued to bark orders. Lights out. No balls in the barn. Eat your carrots. Don't chew with your mouth open. The friends weren't happy. Silo is bossy, 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 said Patches. Too bossy, said Pip. Then Sweet Pea saw Gaston playing outside. She had an idea, a stop Silo from being bossy idea. Chapter 4. Fun with Friends Gaston needs help, said Sweet Pea. Since you're the boss, maybe you can help him. Silo finally felt like the boss of the barn. He raced outside. When Gaston saw Silo, he kicked a can to him. Silo kicked it back to Gaston. Soon, the friends were playing kick the can with lots of friends. Then, Silo rolled in the mud with Freckles. After that, he went on a long walk with Pip and Squeak, played yarn ball with Patches, and played tag with the sheep. He had so much fun playing with his friends that he forgot to boss them around. He also forgot to do his job. At seven o'clock, the sheep ran into the barn. Aunt Jane counted them as they ran past her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She stopped counting. Two are missing. Just then, Sweet Pea ran inside while nudging another sheep in front of her. Nine, ten, said Aunt Jane. They're all here, she hugged Sweet Pea. Good job. You're a superstar, said Daniela. Aunt Jane patted Sweet Pea. She could be in charge of this place, the boss of the barn. The other animals overheard. Sweet Pea rushed over to them. Did you hear the news? asked Sweet Pea. I'm a superstar. Aunt Jane said I could be in charge of this place, the boss of the barn. The friends frowned. Sweet Pea laughed. Don't worry. I want to be your friend, not your boss. I want to have fun, fun, fun with all of you. Silo barked, but this time he didn't bark orders. He wagged his tail. Just because you could be in charge doesn't mean you should be in charge. 